Hey everyone, and welcome back to the probe. Let's play. Right. Keep forgetting that the number pad doesn't seem to work for this game. Because the way I have to, like, have my keyboard when I'm recording, it's off to my left, and the number pad is the easiest way for me to control things normally. So I'm using the VI keys now, and it's kind of awkward. Jackal. Oh, that's nice. We found some early food. Not that hunger is really a big issue in this one. Like in original Rogue, I've actually starved to death and passed out next to monsters and stuff from hunger. But in this one, I never seem to make it far enough for food to be an issue. And on the rare occasion that I do. It's just not an issue. Like, they always spawn enough food for me. Hope you can't hear that squeaking in the background. That would be the hamster. I don't know why he's so active when I'm recording today, but he is. It's a pretty uneventful floor so far. I didn't mean to step on that, but okay. We'll take a healy plant. It's not like I'm gonna be wasting it or something. Those healy plants are pretty handy though, so I try not to step on them if I don't need them, especially on the later floors. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff here, right? Sorry, mouse cursors. Floating in the corner again. Just keep going. I don't care about a rat. Okay, actually, I'm gonna test out a couple of these potions first. So, confusion, fire immunity, hallucination, strength. Okay, so we got what? Two good potions, too bad. It's not so bad. Aggravate monsters. Enchantment. I'll enchant the dagger. And identify. Everything is already identified. Okay. Uh, right, I'm confused. I'm very confused. So. Um. The Eldritch Totem stole eight darts. Um, game, I think that might have been a monkey. Just, you know, I'm saying. I don't think totems usually steal things or move. Can I throw... Okay, apparently I can throw things while hallucinating, but it's not particularly effective. Okay, am I back to normal now? Seems it. Okay, got my dart back. Where'd the eldritch monkey totem go? I don't know. Um, gold. It's not really useful. Some incendiary darts. I don't know what that was, but it hit pretty hard. Urgh. Yeah, so this is going pretty poorly. Remember that Healy thing that was up here? I think we're gonna go visit that real quick. Because I'm a bit um, injured and don't want to be. I think this will be a little bit faster if I go here. Yeah, I'm trying to wait out the hallucinating. There. Okay, well, let's try that again now that we know what we're up against, sort of. I still have no idea what any of those were, except for the monkey that ran away with my darts. But, 
I can look at them and not be confused by them at least. So, I don't know. That, I must have like pissed off an eel or something. I guess the monkey tried to... Wooden barricade is firmly set but it's dried over. It might burn. Will this work? Well, one way to find out. Apparently it does. That's handy. I'm gonna let that fire die down before I go in there, but it's good to know that incendiary darts can burn down those barricades. I don't know what that noise is. I'm recording this on the 4th of July though, so I hope nobody starts with the fucking fireworks while I'm recording. Do I know what any of these potions do? No, of course not. That would make my life easier. But I'm gonna have to test them out. And one of them is bound to be incendiary and I'm gonna light myself on fire and probably die from it. Okay, so haste charm, armor, Staff of Lightning, is there anything down here? No. So it looks like the Staff is my best bet. War Pike would probably be nice, but I don't think I have the strength for it, and the Staff gives me, gives me a ranged attack. So yeah. Staff is probably my best bet. Yeah, there's that Eel, that's probably what was draining my health so fast last time. And what happened to that monkey? I haven't seen him. Answers that question. And that solves the monkey problem. There's really no point fighting those eels, I don't think. It's not like I'm gonna go swimming. Okay, well, potion of confusion. I'd like to get a potion of fire immunity sometime soon because I get the feeling that one of these potions is gonna light me on fire if I try to drink it. And I'd rather be immune to fire in that case. Looks like we finished this floor out. It's kind of suspicious that there's this whole like black area over here. I don't know, I feel like there should be a secret room there, but if it's not like right here, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Yeah, whatever. Don't need to spend that much time exploring the early floors. Ooh, wand. And goblins. Well, let's test out our wand, shall we? Err. Um. That's not a good wand. No. Bad. Uh. Try again. That's better. For those that missed what happened there, uh, that wand transforms a monster into a random other monster, and that time it turned a goblin into a dragon, which is significantly more dangerous than a goblin. And by significantly more dangerous, I mean it would have outright killed me with no trouble whatsoever had I not turned it into a blip. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. What do I have for scrolls anyway? J. Summon monsters, of course. Um, goblin? There. You deal with that. Or die trying, that works too. I'm gonna use the staff of lightning on that. Just so I don't get completely killed by him. <sighs> Fucking monkeys, go away. I'm gonna throw stuff at you until you go away. Why was he hunting? He couldn't find me after I threw a dozen darts at him? Okay, well not exactly a dozen, but you know. 
significant number of darts out of charge. Hmm. I'm gonna run over here and take a nap to heal up a bit. Yeah, okay. Should be okay now, right? Yeah, probably. More confusion. It's not terrible, actually. More summon monsters. I can't go diagonally over that. There's another goblin over there. I don't really care about him. So, can I throw a scroll? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if it'll do anything, but I wanna throw a scroll of summon monster. Where'd it go? J. Yeah, I don't think that did anything, but it was kind of funny. I'll hold on to the scroll for right now. Apparently I'm sneaking up on monkeys, which is interesting. I'm not too concerned about jackals in a corridor. Maybe I should have been though, because they took out most of my health. I'll sit here and heal up a bit. And zap. Can't zap him. He's behind the plant. Really? You can't see me? I really want to throw an incendiary dart at him, but it's probably a waste. Uh, you know, I'm not going to use it anyway. Um, E. Haha, uh -huh, have fun. And I'm hungry, so I'll eat a bit. And watch the fire burn. Okay, well, that was not as much fire as I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping the explosive swamp gas would, you know, explode. But I guess that's not gas, it's just... Huh. So the green is the explosive gas, and the brown and such is just regular old mud. I think. That makes sense. And I accidentally stepped on that, but whatever. So, the only place I haven't explored on this floor is over there. Okay. No, no, no. Hit the button too much. Or held it too long or something. I don't feel like going, you know, base jumping a cliff. Off a cliff. In a cliff? Off a cliff. Yeah, off a cliff. Scroll of enchanting. That's pretty good. And next floor. <sighs> so I found a fire thing. Remove curse. Good, good. So that opal ring. I still don't know what that does. I'm gonna try a few. Of course. Of course, the first one I try burns me into. or bursts me into flames. Visible, speed, life. Good, good. I was hoping one of them would be life. I don't know, we're on floor four now, so it's actually getting to the point where it's a little bit important to have some more life than we already did. I really don't want to get too close to the water because I think I died to something like that last time, didn't I? Last episode, I don't know if it was the last time I actually died in the game, but yeah, sometime not long ago. That is a giant ass pool of lava. 
I don't think I want to go swimming in it. Er, did I drop anything? No, apparently not. Okay, looks like the only way to go is up here. Past the eels. At least it wasn't one of those uh, bog monsters, I think. Are the ones that lock you in place and you can't run away from them. Mm, toad got me. Oh well. I do like that the toads make you hallucinate like that. It's kind of neat. It's not particularly helpful, but it looks neat. And it's my side effect. Acid mound. Uh, no. Remove. Remove. Yeah, that's fine. As long as you're not. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to. No, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do it now. And that is throw you. Okay. So now I need to put my dagger back on, put my armor back on. Good. I just don't want the ass amount to eat my only equipment. I mean, it's not even protected yet. I do have a scroll now. I should. Magic mapping. I was kind of hoping it would be protection because I. I'd like to have at least a weapon that I can use against the acid mounds. Fighting them barehanded is not pretty, really a good thing to do. I still have a staff of lightning, so how about I zap you? I can't. Oh, why am I trying to throw it? How about I zap you? Okay, I'll zap you again. That polymorph, polymorph is weird because it's always a gamble. You might turn, you know, a weak enemy into a dragon, like I did earlier. But at the same time, you can turn a dragon into a weak enemy, so it's worth holding on to. It's definitely not all bad. Oh, that's a pink jelly. I am going to. Never mind. I am not going to zap you. Uh, it's really not worth. Um, polymorphing it, because the odds are it would definitely become something bigger and meaner. I wonder if I can escape it. I really don't want to fight you, because I don't have much choice in the matter, do I? It would appear not. Yeah. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. So I would have preferred to not fight it. Yeah, those jellies make me nervous just because there's so many of them. Like, because of the way they split up. One turns into a dozen pretty quickly and it's easy to get overwhelmed. Oh, I thought you were sleeping. Uh, steel wand. Have to find out what that does. And plate armor. I don't have nearly enough strength for that though, do I? No. Er. Doesn't tell me how much strength I need? I guess not. That's weird. I'm gonna try this potion. Detect magic. Good. So the plate armor is neutral. The ring, I already knew that was cursed. The wand is apparently cursed. Polymorphism. I like that polymorphism is a positive effect according to detect magic when half the time, probably more than half the time, it really fucks you over if you're not expecting it. I don't know, pretty much any time I've had it. It's a jelly. Shit. Um, let me through. There. Try to fight them in corridors like that. 
I don't have any more darts. No, I guess not. So, what does this wand do? I just want to know. Er. Did it aggravate monster or something? Okay. So what does that wand do? Wand of beckoning. So. Yank the target directly to me. That's not actually that bad. Now that I know what it does, I can probably make use of it. Um, assuming I live that long. Which at this point is a question. Oh. Wait, so even after I've removed curse, it's bad for me? Yes. I don't want a ring of negative awareness. So I guess remove curse just... Ooh. That rat did not hold up very well. So I guess remove curse doesn't make it positive, it just makes it so you can take off a negative piece of equipment. any of this incendiary or dart. Yeah, I know, yeah. So, let's start that. And see if I can... Hmm. I know the blades aren't going to be confused, but maybe the goblin will be confused enough that I can yank him out of the cloud and stab him. Ha. See? That wand isn't so bad once you know what it does. And these were magical. And a potion of life. I will drink you right now. Uh... G is... that scroll... It's really shattering, okay. Kinda wish I hadn't used that. Uh, how did I get in here now? I can't see. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I have a school of enchanting still, too. Do I have the strength for scale mail? Or is that going to be worse for me? It is actually better for me, so I'll equip that. And enchant it. Yeah, because that won't really hurt or anything. Um, have to go the other way around, I guess. Or is there no way around there? Okay, yeah, I have to go all the way around. That's why. Nope. No, thank you. It's probably a poison gas trap. I zap you, it's out. So if I bring you close, it's out. No, you don't. Come back here, monkey. Monkey, give me back my staff. If you give it back, I won't murder you. Monkey. Uh. Looks like Benny Hill theme should be playing right now. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Whatever. This is getting ridiculous. Um, no, don't 
think it's spell it. Okay, maybe I didn't think this one too completely, but yeah, I definitely didn't think this too completely, but you know. Why is the monkey full healed? There. <sighs> that was a pain in the ass. Fucking monkeys. Kobolds I don't mind. Now I'm really hungry again. Okay, kill the monkeys. Centipede. Er. You don't sound particularly dangerous. Okay, you're not. Good, good. I'd hope a centipede isn't particularly dangerous, but you never know with this game. Or any roguelike, really. You're not. You see no way down. I haven't found the stairs down yet. What? So it must be all the way over here. So I'm going to. Mouse. Yes, I'll eat when I get over there. Okay, or I'll run away from jellies. And then eat. Okay. Watch, now that I've mentioned that food is normally not an issue, I'm probably going to starve on this run. Ooh. That's really colorful. I was not expecting that. Okay, so do I have anything to test? No. Okay, next floor then. Hope I find some food. Lava. It's a rather nice pool of lava, but not a particularly useful one. There's more jellies. There's always jellies. At least now I seem to have this health to deal with them. Er. I'm gonna get out of the caustic gas before I worry about killing the toad. Because, yeah, that was a gas trap. And those aren't particularly fun. I don't think the caustic gas actually hurts enemies too, which is even more annoying because I wouldn't mind triggering them so much if it hurt everybody nearby. And I'm hallucinating again. That's clearly a jelly. And the jelly triggered the gas trap. I guess it does hurt them. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take a nap. Uh, zap you. Zap you. Nap. Nap. Um, dead. Shit. Oh well. Killed by a pink jelly on level 6. Of course. Well, that's gonna be all for today, folks. See you next time. Bye!